so we got a service call on this here case um, basically have no refrigerant flow um, call was left incomplete from last night and um, we're here to figure out what happened so let's just take a look all right so we're on our circuit uh, like I said set point is zero we're at 93 degrees uh, let's just see when this happened graph it okay so that's what 12 o'clock on the 16th and today is the 17th so that was over a day let's just check out what state we in uh, right now it shows that the rack is in refrigeration right here and our EPR valve is at a hundred percent just checking out EPR and make sure the EPR is 100% open. I got one side of my gauge hooked up to the suction header. I have my other side hooked up to the suction circuit that's heading down to the case downstairs. And um, basically, if this EPR valve or CDST valve is open, normally you should be reading the same pressures, basically. So I got my gauges hooked up, as you can see, we're reading 10 PSI here and 120 PSI there. So we already know that this EPR valve is closed. And uh, as you can see, our ball valve is open right here. And we got a hot gas defrost circuit right here. This is not hot, it's not energized. So we're not in defrost. We're not dumping hot gas into the, to the circuit right here. So our pressure is this high because temperature, pressure controls temperature, temperature controls pressure. Uh, the case is really pretty warm down there with no refrigeration going. Then we also have the frame heaters from the doors. I just closed my liquid line ball valve. I just closed my suction ball valve. And I also closed this hot gas defrost ball valve that's located down in the back. And um, we're going to get this circuit pumped down. Right now, we're at 109 PSI. So we're going to get this pumped down to about rack suction set point. And uh, we're going to recover the rest. And um, we're going to replace this valve. So, all right. So I got my new valve installed. I just hit the pressure test. Hit it with some soap bubbles. And um, so far, it doesn't look to be leaking. Uh, gonna hook my gauges up, open everything up, and let's see if this new valve open up. All right, so I just powered up the EPR, my CDST valve. Right now, we're reading 10 PSI. And as you can see, we're about 10 PSI there as well. So that EPR valve is 100% open. Um, we're gonna have to get us some um, PVC, you know, some arm effect glue, and uh, repair this. Get this all sealed up nice and neat. All right, so before we head downstairs, let's just check our EPR. Let's just test it. Let's override it close. Override, yes. Let's go to zero percent. And uh, let's see how this thing go. Let's see if it closes. See that red light is telling the EPR valve to close our CDST so now let's just go check our pressure and see if we're starting to rise so the pressure is going up that tells me that our valve here is closing like I told you guys in my other videos if that is closed your pressure will start to rise higher than the rack suction pressure. And as you can see, we had about eight PSI at our rack suction pressure. So we're rising well above it. We're at 18 and still rising. So our valve seems to be functioning. Um, we gotta give it some time for our fan delay to cool down in our case. Like a temperature is what, 94 degrees? So we gotta cool down and then eventually fans will come on and then we'll go from there.